I thought I'd show you how to find the fitting loop on a valent boiler because quite often people will ring me up and say they've got F22 which means it needs some more water in it and this is how you do it on a valent well particularly the newer ones anyway you've got your two grey knobs under there if you look very closely you can see they say closed so if you turn through 90 degrees like that that is now on and if I turn that one through 90 degrees you will hear water don't want to put too much in so at that point you come up you leave one on and one off and then you look at the um, pressure gauge this one's fine 1.2 bar but if I wanted to put a bit more in I would just you can hear it yeah, 0.3 and then very importantly well first of all you need to make sure it's between those two dotted lines there when it's cold because obviously that will go up and down as the water gets hotter and expands but very importantly once you put enough water in you then need to come back un under here and make sure that they are both switched off again okay that's very important um, F22 you won't need to reset it if you have F75 you probably will F75 might mean there's a bit of dirt in the pressure sensor or something so you might end up having to call, call me out um, other boilers sometimes will have a, a filling loop which is external to the boiler so it won't be a couple of nice grey knobs like this underneath the boiler there'll be a sort of flexible hose like that braided hose somewhere connected to the pipe work beneath, beneath the boiler or sometimes elsewhere in the house it depends how it's being done and it'll have two knobs like that are probably black or sometimes it just has one that's black and then one with a um, uh, flathead screwdriver and that's your filling loop anyway very important to know how to top your water up because it's an easy thing to do and it's something that all uh, homeowners should be able to do